This is our final full day here in Hawaii. It's also our final day of seeing this view in the sunlight because our flight leaves tomorrow before the sun comes up. I'm gonna miss it so much. <laughs> Because today is our last day, we are going to take it easy. All of us are starting to feel the wear and tear of nearly two weeks of just hitting every day really, really hard. So the plan for today is to go to the beach. We're gonna snorkel a little, we're gonna sit in the shade. We're just gonna relax and enjoy the beaches of Hawaii for one last day. We are here at this beach. I don't remember the name, I'll put it in here doesn't really have the best beach for relaxing which is a bit of a bummer but the snorkeling is supposed to be really good so we're gonna go snorkel for a while and then maybe we'll go find another beach that has more of a sandy spread that we can set up our chairs and just relax in but for now we're gonna go get in in a big way soaking up every moment throw a cherry on your sunday hands in the sky wide open yeah i just want to celebrate life is better on the bright side i got a pocket full of sunshine Is always bright blue the ocean's a little deeper if you can see it like i do can't think of nothing better to come up and enjoy the view feels like the perfect weather for every dream to come true life is better on the bright side i got a pocket full of sunshine side I like this mask a lot better, but uh, it hurts my face. That was 
awesome. We saw tons of fish. They were so cool and so pretty. And Lynn kept pointing out things and then telling us what they were. It was really, really cool. But I think we've worn ourselves out on the snorkeling bit. I think now we're, we might go find a beach that's kind of like the classic Hawaiian crystal clear water beaches palm trees thing and then just go sit and relax for a while it's only taken us 13 days to relax but i think we're finally going to do it <laughs> we were about to leave but we saw this plaque over here and we wanted to come and read it and it has some really cool history uh, kamehameha the third was born in this enclosure here he was stillborn they cleansed him in the spring at the top of the bay and then they laid him on this big rock over here to the right of me um, and when they laid him on the rock, he revived. He was Hawaii's longest reigning monarch. And that's such a random bit of history for us to just happen upon. We decided to forego lounging on the beach and instead we came down to check out the sea turtles. 100% worth it. They're so cool. This is the good life. This is the good life. So cool. That was awesome. Tons of turtles. Definitely worth going. It's not that long of a walk from the parking lot, although it is rocky. There's not a lot of shade. So definitely, if you feel like you're going to be there for a while, take some water, take some chairs, but just chill out and watch a lot of really cool turtles. <sighs> it's almost done. We have one more evening. We're about to go out to dinner. We're not gonna vlog it. We're just gonna go enjoy our time with everybody. We've had an incredible time here. We don't wanna go home. Hawaii has been amazing. Oahu has been incredible. Couldn't have asked for a better trip. So glad that we got to come with family. I'm glad that we got to experience all the military stuff with my dad and that Lynn taught us how to snorkel. We've had so many amazing experiences. I'm not ready for it to end. But I guess we gotta get on a plane tomorrow. Till next time, Hawaii. Mahalo. Don't let the moment pass us by. Just trust that the universe is right.